So now that we've got our SDK implemented, we need to set up our pipelines. So RudderStack is architected by design to be two separate parts. So we have our control plane, and this is where we're gonna set up our, um, all of our pipelines. So our control plane is going to be completely separated from our data plane, which is where our data is processed. This is going to give us this is going to give us control over how our data is handled, where it's handled, and who has access to it. So the control plane is going to be our dashboard. So this is where we're going to set up all of the pipelines. So we have these various sources and the various downstream tools, and we're going to tell we're going to tell the app where to send these. The control plane is also going to be where we're going to store authentication secrets and settings specific to these destinations. So this, as I mentioned earlier, this is going to allow all of these teams to control their integrations and not rely on engineering to deploy new code when they need to make changes uh, or change authentication keys. That can all be done from within the control plane. Um, these secrets can be managed. Uh, like I said, the settings can be managed and uh, different pipelines and tools can be modified, added and removed without involving, without involving uh, engineering at all. So the event streaming is going to be set up here. We're also going to have uh, where we control our syncs. Our syncs are going to be how we manage events coming in from cloud extract and warehouse action sources. But we'll discuss that a little bit later. But those will be managed in your control plane as well. And then you'll also have an audit log in here, which will show which team members are adding or modifying or changing which destinations and sources so that we can have control over who's modifying uh, within our control plane.